This portion of today's video is sponsored by Miss Blue. Miss Blue is a global expert in lab created natural gemstones, as well as lab grown diamond engagement rings and fine jewelry with innovative design and craftsmanship in every phase of production. Now the idea or the inspiration behind this brand is that jewelry should be affordable, beautiful, as well as conscientious. They're able to offer high quality at the best service at a reasonable price. Now let's get into my box. Look at these gorgeous blue boxes, you guys. They gifted me with these two necklaces. It had this card explaining the brand, as well as a polishing cloth and a velvet case, as well as a ring sizer. And this Miss Blue bag where I can put my goodies in the bag to store them. So let's get into showing you my necklaces. I'm so excited, you guys. Look at this necklace. It's a love necklace, and this is 18 karat gold vernil. So beautiful. The quality is unprecedented. This necklace is beautiful. It is so nice, okay? And then I also have a second necklace. This one is so me. It shows strength, peace, and then there's happiness and love. Okay, all on one bar, perfect reminders of how we should be daily. I absolutely love this. So I'll try one on at a time for you. This is the Love Necklace. It is really, really nice quality, nice heavy jewelry, you guys. Okay, and this is my second necklace. So you can see them separate as well as together. I love layering. Miss Blue has been kind enough to give us a discount code of RE15. That's RE15 if you see any items that you're interested in, as well as providing individual links for the two necklaces that I have shown you today. Now, back to our regular schedule. What program. is good, my ATA bags? Welcome back to the channel. It's me here, Ari. Today, we're going to be doing a special combos video about sugar, spice, and everything nice. Most girls love to have a little bit of sugar and spice and smell a little sweet with their combinations. So let's go ahead and get into the video. This first combination is giving pure raspberry candy, okay? So I started with my Pink Paradise, and this is the Glotion Body Butter from Bath & Body Works because I do not have the, the cream that comes with the Sol J Janeiro 68. I didn't purchase that, okay? And I'm glad I didn't, although I like this. I haven't smelled the cream. I really like this cream because to me it's more candy sweet. I don't know if you guys have smelled this. Oh, but it smells like candy. It's like sugary sweet candy. Now this is the Glotion. So it's definitely a shimmer in here. It's definitely going to give a shine and a little bit of glitter, quite a bit of glitter. Okay. If you don't like glitter, you might not like this. I just like to keep it real with you. Let's see if I can put a little bit on my hands so you can see. Let's see here. I put some right there. Can you see it? That's what it is. Quite a bit of glitter. And it is kind of a gold color because some people have asked me if it's gold or silver glitter, but it is definitely golden. I love it. Okay. Especially if you're out in the sun and you're smelling like this candy girl. Mm, it smells so good. I feel like I keep getting stuff on my nose, but let's see if I have the notes in here. So this is pink dragon fruit, and then it has wild hibiscus and blush moss. This is so good. Okay, it's so good. I, I really love this. I actually feel like it sweetens up number 68. Now, I know a lot of people love the number 68 by Charosa, and it has the pink dragon fruit and jasmine. So it's pretty much the same thing, but this is just sweeter to me. Okay, so I don't have the cream, the body cream that goes with this. 
If you have it, leave a comment down below. Let me know, is it sweeter than the spray? Or is it basically the same? But I really love this one. I love these two together. And then I just went in and added my Angel Nova. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this okay. So this is can be a little bit tart. It has some rhubarb in it. It has a lot of raspberry. It gives a lot of strong raspberry. But when you add these together, this combination produces the sweetest raspberry candy ever. You have to try it. If you have these three, give them a try. Or even if you have the body cream to this, I'm not sure if it's sweet as this, but put these all together. It's gorgeous. I love it. For this next combination, I have not been wearing my Britney Spears Fantasy and I absolutely love this, you guys. I love the Midnight Fantasy as well. But this is so good and it's so unique to me for the price. This is really special. Okay, so I was really just kind of checking into the notes to see what I wanted to layer with this. So when I looked at the notes, I noticed that it has some lychee, it has kiwi, quince, and it has white chocolate, cupcake, cupcake girl, orchard, jasmine, musk. Okay, but I definitely pick up the cupcake. If you just smell this, knowing that cupcake is in it, that's what you're going to smell. Try it. Try it. Okay, so this has the cup, cup, cupcake note in there. It also has chocolate. So what I decided to do was just add my orange cocoa and cream. And this is the Body Butter by Philosophy. And this definitely gives chocolate with a hint of orange. I love this cream, okay? Oh, it's, it's like the chocolate ultimate chocolate with a little bit of orange just a hint of orange okay so i started with that for my body butter and then i went in with my cupcake and this is by body fantasies have you guys ever smelled this it is super cheap i believe i got it at dollar general for under four dollars but it smells just like a cupcake it smells so good i mean it's giving almost so de janeiro in a little bit of a way number 62 71 one of those but it's definitely sweeter it's more like a cupcake and it lasts a pretty good while i'm surprised i mean for the price it's pretty good so if you run across this one you might want to give it a try i love it and these two together is fire okay and then adding that orange to it and then i just went in with some chocolate must to just accentuate that chocolate a little bit more you don't have to do that and then of course i had my chocolate musk oil okay it's just using what you have so i'm basically going with the um i'm going with the cupcake and the chocolate and the vanilla okay and this is just putting it all together super duper nicely and i love this combo okay it's so pretty and if i hadn't checked the notes i probably would have never put this together Okay, I know this next combo is looking a little bit weird. All right, but let me just give you, just just, just hold up. Let me give you the notes to the Sweet Tooth Caramel Dreams. So the top notes is almond milk, sugar, orange, lemon, and freesia. The middle notes is dark chocolate, vanilla, and orchid. The base notes is caramel, patchouli, amber, and musk. So when I saw that, I have to review my notes periodically, especially if I haven't worn a fragrance in a minute. I get the lemon. I never got the lemon before. I always just picked up the caramel. I knew it was something else, but I get the lemon now that I've done this combo. Okay, y'all, this one is so good, okay? It's got sugared lemon. One of the one of the sites I looked this up, it was sugar lemon in here. So guess what? Sun White Citrus, it has notes of sugar lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. And this is so pretty together. This is so pretty together. It's like I've never smelled 
sweet tooth caramel dreams in this light before. When you add this caramel, this sweet lemon to it. Okay, so of course I had the body cream to uh, Sunwash Citrus. My mind is everywhere. The body cream, the body splash to Sunwash Citrus, and then um, Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dreams. All right, and then I did add the oil. I have a caramel oil, and it is giving true caramel. And when I tell you, this is so good. This is so good. I'm like, where have you been all summer? Okay. I mean, I can probably wear it in the winter too. I wear what I want when I want. So I will definitely be rocking this one again super soon because probably tomorrow because I really like it. It's so good. So friend, you guys who know me well enough or who've known me for a minute know that I wear what I want when I want to. So this next combination is cherry. I'm mixing a little bit of summer and fall together because uh, well, fire pack, firecracker pop is really, it came out around uh, 4th of July, I believe. I believe that's when this one actually came out. So it is cherry but it's not a heavy gourmand cherry. So I would say that this combo is probably okay for summer. I feel it's okay. I wear it. I like it. So I start with a red cherry oil. This is by P&J and it's definitely a heavy cherry scent, but I mix this with a oil. I mix this with um, my uh, Neutrogena or oil or any kind of body oil. I don't just put this on my skin because it seems like it kind of burns a little bit. But when I mix it with the oil and it's, it's really nice. Or if I can put it in my lotion. And this is the Black Cherry Merlot that I decided to use with this combo. I love this scent. Oh, I can wear this year around, y'all. I love Black Cherry Merlot. And yeah, I got a nice little dent in it. I really need to get another lotion because I love this. I even have the small hand cream and I also love the um, hand sanitizer. I just keep those in my purse. Whenever I carry this, I carry my hand cream and my hand sanitizer because it's the best to me. I love the black cherry below. Okay. So that is my foundation with the oil and the lotion. And then I'll go in with the firecracker pop. This is red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. Okay, I have purchased this and got rid of it, got rid of it, and then I bought it back again. Okay. <laughs> but I like it this time. I, I've been enjoying it. You know, I really I'm just I'm just really into cherry. I just love cherry. And then I just layered it with my Dolce and Gabbana Q. And y'all know this has a beautiful cherry note. It is so soft and feminine. It's cherry. But it's not tart. It's not. It's just really sweet and smooth. So this gives a upper feeling, a higher feeling to the combo. It makes it elevated. Is that a good word? Is that a right word? It makes it somewhat elevated, even though the firecracker pop is really kind of just basic cherry. All right. Basic cherry. This elevates it. I love this combo. It's really, really pretty. And that's it. Okay, friends. So this next combination is for those who love pastel skies like I do. Okay. I just don't get how people don't like it. But, and then some people say the first year they tried it, they did not like it. And the next year they love it. Maybe because it does have, this is one of those, I feel that does have to macerate. But right now, this right here, it's been, my model has been like this ever since I got it. It's just magnificent, y'all. It has coconut musk in it. It has soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and it is divine. I love this scent. This is one I will always want to keep in my collection always. But if you don't like coconut, I can understand you're just not going to like it because it, it gives you this coconut bubble that is so inviting. It's so sweet 
and so pretty. Okay. So I started out with this. I have the body lotion to match. I did not buy the body lotion. I had to go to Macari and grab the lotion. And I'm so glad I did y'all. I mean, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. All right. So what I did was just add a little bit of our monies my way. And this is, it gives it a little bit of freshness. I don't know. It just, it was a little bit fresh. I didn't use a whole lot of the my way because I wanted to go in heavy on the Yara. And y'all, that combination is, uh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay. You have to try this. You have to try it out and tell me what you think. All right. You may have already tried it. So it's my way, pastel skies, and Yara. So you guys, this next combo is very, very simple. And I'll explain why. I did purchase the Candy Apple Cauldron. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So this has notes of mysterious green apple. And then it has a uh, simmering sugar and crystallized bergamot. So it's basically green apple, sugar, and bergamot. And I can pick up all of those. It's so sweet. I really like this one, but it's also giving perfume. Maybe it's the bergamot in here. I don't know. It seems like it will last for a minute. But what I wanted to do was to add... Believe it or not, this is Glossier U. I have noticed if you have this, you guys, it kind of just accentuates anything you layer with it. It's just going to magnify the scent. And I put these two together and I love it. The dry down, it is giving. It is really giving super duper sweet candy apple. I love this together. If you have these two, it's so simple. Okay. It's so simple. And like I said, anything that I layer with this is pretty much accentuated. So anything that's kind of weak, I can put this with it and it'll just pick up that scent and carry it longer. I haven't tried everything. Let me pull back on that. But what I have tried, it works really well. So if you have Glossier U, and then if you have the Candy Apple Cauldron, if you're just looking for something to just kind of continue the scent but make it a bit stronger, try layering it with Glossier U. I like it. Okay, so this next combo, I have to say the Cotton Candy Clouds has really grown on me. When I first got it, you guys, I could not pick up the scent. I couldn't pick up the sweetness. But now, this year, I bought this last year. This year, it's really giving. And you can wear so much with this, okay? Cotton Candy Clouds. So this has notes of spun sugar, pink berries, whipped vanilla. Oh, it is really good now. It is really giving. And you can wear so much with this. I think uh, one of my subbies said to mix this with uh, Kay Ali's Young Pistachio 33. She said that combo is really, really good. So y'all might want to give that one a try. But for this combination, I added on some gold because we're trying to just get sweet, sweet, sweet. And girl, this is doing it. This is doing it. And of course, I have a cotton candy oil that I put on my pulse points, y'all. This is so good. This combo is really good together. There's cotton candy clouds along with Ensemble Gold. And then I have a cotton candy oil that just tops it off. That's Chef's really pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these combos. Which one are you planning on trying? What are some of your combos that are super duper sweet that are like candy or a treat or dessert that you want to share with us, girl? Don't gatekeep, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what some of your favorites are. Also, leave me a little treat emoji. Let me know that you made it all the way through to the end, girl. Please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me to grow, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.